So everything you need to know uh, on the loan programs and uh, the rate sheets that I'll show you is at this website. It's www.egia.org, .egia Intertech. I'll uh, walk you through that uh, here in a little bit, but do make a note of that uh, because that's going to put that on the postie on your computer screen uh, because that's where you're going to always get your rate sheets and have a refresher on the loan programs. Um, so there are two geothermal loan programs that we pick specifically for Intertech uh, dealers. We did that because these two programs are what I call the most uh, geo-friendly uh, loans in the EGIA platform. Um, so this is, when you get on that screen, you're going to get to pick between two programs, the Flex Loan and the Express Loan. And I'll show you uh, the key components of both of those this morning. So I recommend that a dealer use one loan program or the other. And the reason for that is uh, each one of these comes with a full um, suite of supporting uh, services that includes portals, uh, the ability to track your loans and your proposals, uh, and that kind of thing. So to have both of them up and once uh, running at the same time is uh, some dealers do that. But when you get started, I really suggest that you pick one and go from there. Today, we're not going to go into the details of how these programs work and how you apply for loans. We'll save that for another day. But the primary differences, and I'll gladly walk uh, anybody uh, in the workshop through these on the phone, offline, uh, after today. The Flex Loan has a 20-year geothermal loan program, and it also offers commercial uh, signature loans on the same platform. So if you do a lot of commercial geothermal work, I, you might be inclined to offer this one. Commercial customers need financing uh, as well as residential customers. The Express Loan is uh, has a new renewables loan that now includes a geothermal on a 20-year program. That's new in the last uh, month or so. And it has a unique feature. If you're working in a market where people are doing, uh, where you maybe you're working with a home builder or people are building their own custom homes with a builder, this loan, we put a neat feature into it. If you catch somebody while they're still in that construction cycle, uh, they can actually upgrade to geothermal. When I was a contractor, I just hated those conversations at the home show where a customer, a potential customer would say, gosh, I wish I had talked to you four months ago before I started my construction loan. These guys give you an option where they can, the customer can upgrade to geothermal, put that on their loan program, uh, continue the construction of their home. You can put their geothermal system in as an upgrade. Uh, it doesn't impact the construction loan, and then they can roll the geothermal into their permanent financing or leave it out of their permanent financing and continue to pay that as a signature loan. So those are the primary uh, differences between the two loans. And then you'll see here in a little bit, there's, there's some slight differences between uh, rates and fees. So as a refresher, there are two kinds of financing available uh, in the marketplace. One is what we call no interest, no payments. Um, so that is a loan where the customer can put in their geothermal system uh, and you can have them defer making any payments to the bank for 6, 12, 18, and now 24 months. So the customer can have time to either put their financing together, uh, wait for a bonus, that kind of thing. You get paid, obviously, uh, uh, as soon as the loan paperwork's filled out, you can take your dealer draw and, and then get paid on completion. But the no interest, no payment really appeals to what we call a cash buyer. Those are the folks, that, that small group of folks we talked about yesterday that have the money. They just don't want to part with it. This was a really important feature when we had the uh, federal tax credits, too, and I'll explain that in a bit. The second type of financing is what we call reduced APR, uh, annual percentage rate, or fixed rate, fixed payment financing. That's what we're gonna spend the bulk of our time on today. That's where you can offer a customer a monthly payment. The monthly payment won't change, and you can use that to show the life cycle cost of owning a geothermal system. 
at fixed payment loans uh, come at good interest rates. You'll see that. We're going to talk today about the 20 year loans, so there are shorter terms. And then what we're going to learn today is how to factor dealer fees into those loans so that you know how much to price your product for. Now, dealers get hung up on dealer fees, so let me stop and explain those for just a minute. Dealer fees are a added to the loan, the customer actually pays the dealer fee over the life of the loan, and it's an overhead to you as a, as a contractor to offer the dealer fees. So the dealer fees are not designed to come out of your pocket, they're designed to be part of your price quote, just like the driller for your loops or the back co-operator for your loops to use a third-party loop installer. Uh, you wouldn't want to be expected to absorb those costs as a business, and so dealer fees um, are part of providing financing. They're part of your overhead, and they're part of your price quote, and we'll talk about that uh, a little bit more today and then next week. So the biggest thing we're going to do today is show you how to make sure you've covered your dealer fees in your quote, and you've learned how to price your loans, including the dealer fees, so that uh, you get your full margins on your sales. So there's two rate sheets. Both of those are on that website that I showed you. Um, so on the left, we have the Renewable Express Loan Rate Sheet. And on the right, I have the Flex Loan Rate Sheet. Um, <laughs> the rate sheets, the loan programs come with different names from the banks. So um, the Express Loan is Interbank and the Flex Loan is Service Finance. But uh, you just need to remember Express or Flex when you pick your option. And again, I'll walk anybody on the call uh, through the best options for their business. So you're gonna see on these rate sheets um, some key things. You need to know the plan number. That's the loan that you're gonna tell the bank you want to put your customer on when you uh, call or use their web app. There's gonna be the annual APR, or annual interest rate. So you'll need to know that uh, to tell your customer what the rates are on their loan. The term is the life of the loan, either stated in years or months. So you can tell the customer how long the loan will last. Then there's this thing called a payment factor. Payment factor is simply a number that when multiplied times the total loan, including dealer fees, uh, gives you the monthly loan payment for the customer. I'm going to show you how to do that manually this morning, and then I'm going to show you a calculator where you can uh, do it without uh, using a piece of paper and a calculator. And then lastly, you're going to want to know the dealer fee because that becomes part of the total loan uh, and becomes an essential component to work out your payment factor to get your customer's monthly payment. So just below that those simple headings are two examples, and I'll show you, I cut those out of the rate sheets from the express loan and the flex loan, so you'll see that uh, they're not consistent in how they present that information, uh, but I'll show you how to find it on the rate sheets. So here's a drill in a little deeper on one of the two rate sheets. This happens to be the flex loan. So you're gonna see that you have different plans, each of those plans comes with a different interest rate and a different loan term, okay? And then as the rates and terms change, the month, the payment factors change. So the simple thing to remember is the longer the life of the loan and the lower the interest rate, the lower the payment factor is going to be. So in this rate sheet, this 0.71 for 204. 40 months, which is 20 years, is the lowest monthly payment that you'll see on a geothermal loan. It comes with a 15% dealer fee. You have to have a $7,500 minimum install, which shouldn't be a problem with geothermal. And then you can offer that loan up to $40,000. Um, so those are key components that you'll see on um, a rate sheet. And just based on experience, and I'll walk you through this again individually, the more savings you can offer geothermal, the more likely you can offer a shorter loan and still get to a positive cash flow. But it's been my experience that these 20 year loans are really the sweet spot to show geothermal as a cost effective option. 
Okay. And then, not to muddy the waters too much, but when we had the federal tax credits, and I am on the ICSPA board, and we're still working to hopefully bring those tax credits back, um, we you can offer combo loans on both of the platforms where you can add a same as cash loan and a fixed payment loan. So that way you don't have a customer borrowing uh, money for 20 years that they're going to get back from a utility rebate or a state tax credit or a federal tax credit within a short period of time. So the combo loans are useful in those areas where we still have state tax credits and big utility rebates. If you don't have any of those in play right now, you just can go straight to a fixed payment loan. So the goal is to sell geothermal as the most cost-effective solution. So we all know ground source heat pumps are more expensive than unitary HVAC or air source heat pumps. Um, but geothermal has 20-year loans. The conventional equipment, uh, the standard loan for conventional out there is five years. Uh, geothermal, the reason we're selling geothermal and the reason we make geothermal is because it lowers utility bills, right? Costs more, saves more. Uh, so that's the bridge that we're gonna look at on day three. And then there's usually there's some tax, can be state tax credits and utility incentives for geothermal that don't exist for conventional. And depending on your market, depending on your electric prices, depending on your weather data, on uh, the cost of propane, fuel oil, or natural gas, these loan programs can often show ground source heat pumps as the lowest cost option, especially when compared to financing uh, standard equipment and then remember from yesterday that 80, 90% of the market needs financing, whether it's geothermal or conventional. So we're gonna show you how to calculate payments today using the rate sheets. And the goal is to get you to a monthly geothermal payment that, that covers the cost of the utility savings uh, over time or matches utility savings over time. And if you can do that, you're basically selling geothermal as a no cost option to your customer. And do remember that it's a competitive marketplace out there and um, the ductless split folks, the solar folks, the traditional HVAC folks are all offering financing. Uh, so financing is a way for you to increase your sales in a competitive market, not only against other dealers, but against other technologies. So this is all you need to know to put together a financing proposal, and this is what we're gonna spend the rest of this morning on. How much do you wanna sell your system for? What would be your cash price? Somebody walked in the door and put a check on your desk, what would you sell them a system for? You need to know what your geothermal savings are. Uh, you, you calculate that annually, and then we're gonna just divide that by 12 to make it a monthly average. Um, you then can know what your monthly payments are to get the customer to a positive cash flow. We'll spend a lot of time on that next week. And then you need your dealer fees so that you can uh, make sure your sales price is there so you've covered those costs. And it's just been my experience that we're going to start with the 20-year option and as propane and natural gas prices rise in the future, and certainly in fuel oil markets today, we might be able to go to a 15-year or lower option. Okay, so first, how do you calculate a loan payment by hand? So in this case, I've picked the loan 4071. It's the 5.99% flex loan for 20 years. It has a payment factor of 0.71% and a dealer fee of 15%. So you were, wanna sell that system for $30,000 um, cash, take $30,000, divide it by one minus the dealer fee, and you would need to price that system at $35,294. Um, if the customer takes the financing, they will sign loan documents for $35,294, and on the completion of the job, the bank will have paid you, the dealer, $30,000 uh, to your business. So you get $30,000, the customer makes payments on $35,294. That's how dealer fees work, okay? So in that case, the dealer fees in those loans are $52.94. And by, by uh, law, you cannot line item that to your customer, okay? So you're not a bank and only banks can show cost of financing. So it is your cost and the 
the theory on that is as a dealer, it would be you would certainly be within your rights to absorb those costs so that you just can't disclose them. So what happens in that rare customer that didn't want a loan and they wanted to just pay cash? You can then negotiate with them if they say, I don't want financing. You can negotiate your price down at that point if you want to. Other folks, uh, after a little bit of loan volume, they figure out that the percentage of their customers that take the financing versus, uh, and then they just they blend the financing into all of their quotes as a percentage and never offer a cash discount. And we can talk about that offline on how you want to run your business. Okay. So in this model, you've, you price the system at 30, your customer would be offered a financing based on 35,294. Multiply that times the payment factor and their monthly payment for that 20 year geothermal system would be $251 a month. And again, uh, we can do these offline, uh, but in the interest of time, I'm gonna show you a calculator. Uh, we're gonna walk through this uh, this morning. It's at www.egia.org forward slash calculator. And you can see here where I loaded the uh, $25,000 across these line items. There's your contractor fees, 15.5 and 15. These are the two different loan options here. This column is what we're gonna work on uh, next week. So don't pay too much attention to that today. There's your payment factors on the loans. And then you hit calculate and we're gonna do a couple of those live. Um, so here's your sales price. And we decided to use $25,000 today because that was a more of a Midwestern uh, average. Uh, but $25,000 for Interbank or the Flex, the loan programs are 20 years. Uh, Interbank is a 499 for 20 years as, as their best option. Flex is uh, 20 years at 599. The dealer fees are almost the same, just a slight uh, increase in the Interbank dealer fee. And what you'll find is dealer fees go up as interest rates go down. There's the payment factors. This is the best residential payment factor in the market right now for geothermal, 0.659. Uh, Flex is slightly behind that at 0 0.71. In this case, we threw in propane savings of $200 a month and a dealer fee, again, of 15.5 or 15. And these are cuts right from the rate sheets from those two loans. So um, just in case the internet doesn't work today, uh, there's your $25,000. Um, again, don't worry about this column. We're gonna use that in our uh, how to sell next week. There's your contractor fees. Uh, there's a footnote where you can put in the type of financing if you so you don't forget what you ran your financing on. And in this case, there's your, your this calculator is going to show you the contractor fee, the total job cost with the contractor fee, and as you can see, there's just a slight monthly difference, um, a little over ten dollars a month between the express loan and the flex loan. Okay. Um, and then we're going to see tomorrow if we put in the uh, our next week. Here's that $200 monthly savings. In this particular example, after the utility savings, the lowest one of these two loans is actually a positive cash flow to the customer. So they're they're going to make their loan payments and they're going to just break even on their utility bills. So in effect, they're getting their geothermal system for free. And so that's what we're going to work on next week is how to convert that into your sales proposal. So here's the uh, homework you guys are asked to do, do uh, for next week as well. We just want to get your average price, uh, but we're going to blend. And if we have time uh, next week, we'll use the, the average, the highest and the lowest. And we're going to show you how to do good, better, best based on what you would sell geothermal for, based on different loan types for those types of programs. And then uh, we're gonna come up with loan amounts and payment factors. So I'll give you a little preview of next week's uh, class. Okay, so let me now go to the calculator and show you how easy that is to use. So I have the calculator loaded here and using that $25,000 price. And right now I put in the two loans, the 6.659 contractor fee and the 0.71 contractor fee. 
the loan payment factors, 0.659. Oop, um, I loaded that wrong this morning. I must have, the coffee hadn't kicked in. Um, the dealer fee here is 15%. And the dealer fee over here is 15.5. Okay, that'll make a much better number. There's your payment factors, 0 0.659 and 0 0.71. This is the 20-year 4.99% interbank financing. This is the 20-year 5.99 service finance flex financing. And we're gonna hit calculate. And the contractor fees on the interbank loan are 41.11, 44.11. The customer's payment is 193.82. Uh, on the other loan, the contractor fees are just slightly higher because there was that extra half a percent in there. The total loan becomes a little higher and the monthly payment is 210. So that's how fast and easy it is to calculate a dealer fee. Um, so what I'm gonna do, uh, because we have about 10 minutes left, um, I wanted to show you how to use a calculator, but now I think is an excellent time uh, if we can, uh, Noah, to open up for questions because I've covered a lot of ground in a very short period of time and I wanna make sure that everybody on the call uh, understands what I just went through and then we can use the remaining time to, to work a few more examples. Hey, Paul, we do actually have a question for you. Okay. Um, and it is, what's the point of having dealer fees? Why not simply incorporate it directly into the rate to the homeowner? Um, that's an excellent question. And uh, one of these loan programs uh, lets you do that. Um, let me just bring it up here. So if you went to the renewable loan, um, you can see that a 9.99% interest for 12 years, there is no dealer fee. Okay, um, let's see, so you see that? There's 9.99% loans, they go to 12 years, and the dealer fee is 0%. Now, let's use that one in the calculator real quick so that, that I can uh, show you that point. Um, so the payment factor on that is uh, 0 0.1195. Um, so that would be 1.195%. So that's the payment factor and there's no dealer fee. So we're gonna pop back to the calculator and we're gonna go to recalculate. And I'm just gonna put that in here. So we've got a $25,000 system. The contractor fee is gonna be zero, okay? The loan payment factor, instead of being a 0 0.659, is gonna now be a 1.195, okay? I'm not gonna uh, bother to change this, but we would call that the 12 year 0% interest. We're gonna hit calculate. And now that loan is totally possible, no dealer fee, $25,000 cost, and the customer payment is now $298 a month versus the lower payment that was uh, $165.84 on the, uh, the loan with the dealer fees. So the purpose of that exercise is to show you that dealer fees actually save your customers money. And then let me just do it this way. They don't, they save them on their monthly payments. And when you're, when you're selling on a payment market, um, the monthly payment, the customer wants to know what it costs to own. And if they didn't have, because they don't have the cash, and I'm gonna run that side by side now with the other loan that we were looking at, which was the 20 year 4.99 and a dealer fee of 15% and a point, 15.5 and a payment factor of point, um, 0.659. So if, 
if you see, this is how, uh, this is why I really like uh, these questions to show you now you can run side by side in your office with your team to decide which financing package you want to run. $25,000 sale, contractor fee of zero on the 9.99 with, um, that's for 12 years. I'll go ahead and change it because I can. All right, so we're running the 12 year 9.99%, no contractor fee, $25,000 sale, payment factor of 1.195 against a $25,000 sale or unit that you would sell for 15.5% at 0.659, okay? And that's the 499. <laughs> Okay, so see how fast it was for me to make those changes. I'm gonna hit calculate. And you can see the difference to your customer is $100 a month, a little over $100 a month. Now, if you can, if your customer's savings are in that $3,000, $3,500 a year range, then that's not a bad option. But the odds are you're going to be able to put your customer in a positive cash flow much easier at $194 a month than you are at 298 But that's the beauty of the rate sheet. It's your business. Um, it's your sales process. I'll gladly work you through any one of the combinations, or you can use this calculator to do that. You just have to decide which of these do you think is easier for your customers to accept and live with in the marketplace. I'm inclined to say that customers who are, who can pay $194 a month and save $200 a month uh, or more on their utility bills are going to we're going to automatically want this and they're not going to worry about the dealer fees, right? And your cash customers will I guarantee you your cash customers are savvy enough to know that if they ask what the cash price is, they're going to get a cash price. So Use the calculator as a tool. Use it to go through the rate sheet. Again, I'll work with any one of you on the phone in your, to go through your particular math, and that's why we asked you to do your homework assignment for next week. But I hope that answers the question. Dealer fees lower the monthly payment because there's no such thing as a free lunch in finance. And the cost of signature loan finance, remember these are all unsecured signature loan financing, is about 10%. The dealer fees let you buy down the stated interest rate and buy up the term. And they do make a difference in the customer's monthly payment. Hey, thanks, Paul. We have a couple more questions here real quick. Um, one is a follow-up to that question you just asked. So we'll do that one first. Uh, it says, uh, can we be more specific? Take plan number 4082. When the dealer fee is incorporated, the effective rate on cash price is 5.85%. Why not simply structure that loan as that rate with no dealer fee? <laughs> well, because the, uh, the dealer fee is added to the cost, so the rate automatically changes. So let me see if I can explain that one more time because uh, it's, it's really – a key component. So the dealer fee at 0% comes with a 9.99% interest rate, okay? If you go down here and you pick up any one of these loans with 4.99, and unfortunately we're not gonna have the time to do the math, but I'll be happy to do it offline. If you do this with a, add the dealer fee, calculate the monthly payment, then I can show you in a finance calculator where you put in your monthly payment and you can work backwards and you're gonna come up with about a 9.99% interest rate uh, with the, if the dealer fees were turned back into a monthly interest payment. So the dealer fees drive everything back to the banks need to make about this much money uh, and they want to they want to get paid back sooner. The dealer fees is, are a way to offset the bank's risk because they don't know what inflation is going to be 20 years from now. Um, so the and the short answer to that, the practical answer to that is um, the geothermal industry can ask the consumer financing industry to change their practices. But when they're writing billions of dollars of loans for HVAC equipment, solar equipment, swimming pools, weatherization, roofs, garage doors, uh, 
furniture, the the their desire to change the way they present their financing for our little industry isn't going to happen. So we have to learn how to offer their financing in our market. Right, and then we got two more questions here, um, Paul. Uh, one is, if a dealer is interested now, how how do they get started? Different loan application process for each program. Uh, express, express loan and flex. Okay, great question. I was going to cover that um, next week, but let's just go straight to your website and um, get started now. So that you, the first step is all of the to offer the inter, EGI financing, you have to be an EGI member. Uh, Intertech has negotiated a discount rate for that. Um, it's it's you'll 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 make your membership fees up uh, in your first sale with financing, and then you'll get all the other EGI benefits, and we'll go through those next week. And then you hit the financing programs. Uh, if you want either loan, and I'll just, I don't care which one I start with, so I'll click Flex. There's where you'll see your rate sheet, and it says here Enrollment Application. That's the next step is to fill out the enrollment applications and then send those in. And then if you uh, want to CC me, I can certainly watch those go through the process for you. So everything's on your uh, on the Intertech landing site here. Great question. Thank you for that one. Let's see, I got another one. Can the customer pay off their loan early without penalty? Yes, uh, I should have mentioned that. Both of these loan programs uh, have a have a payoff with no penalty. Got one more, uh, I believe. There's a question. It says uh, renewable express equals owner to bank, and the flex the owner gives financial financial to dealer. Um, well, no, they they both work the same way. Um, you the dealers are I like to use the word deputized to offer the financing. Uh, the paperwork, uh, which there is no paperwork, it's all online now. But you, you offer that financial institution's package to your customer. Uh, you ha basically hand them the phone or your iPad and they fill out their per confidential information that you're not, you're not a, loan pro a loan officer. Uh, the financial company, either Interbank or a Service Finance, uh, approves the customer or not. Um, then the customer signs electronically again their loan documents uh, that sets you up for your payments. Um, there's draws on both programs and again we're, we're not set up to go into the details on the, how each program works but we can certainly uh, and should do a class on that in the future. Uh, you get paid your, your first draw a, a couple of days after the loan's approved and the customer's committed to the loan. And then when your work is done, you get an electronic transfer for the balance of your uh, your install price less the dealer fee, and the customer makes payments going forward on the total price with the dealer fee. So both loans work the same way. The relationship, the financial relationship, is between the customer and the finance company. You get paid by the finance company uh, straight to your, your checking account, and the customer uh, starts making monthly payments as soon as the job's done. Well, thanks for that, Paul. That helped. Um, another one came in. Uh, for example, why offer both plans, for the 4082 and 4092? Monthly payments always better for the 4082. <laughs> well, again, it, that's why the what I would do, what I and what I help dealers to do is pick the plan that you want to offer. Pick the financing you want to offer and pick the plan you want to offer um, and then stick with it. So you don't have to offer both and it's and quite frankly it's confusing to the sales team to mix and match. So just pick the plan that you're most comfortable with that fits your business, that fits your market and just offer that same plan uh, every time. Now we'll talk about this next week 
different uh, products should come with different plans. I wouldn't you I wouldn't put a 20 year financing on a on a a gas furnace with five year um, warranty, right? But I'm very comfortable putting geothermal with a lifetime loop and a 10 year warranty and a limited lifetime warranty on certain components on 20 year financing. So that's the that's where the you get to decide which financing to offer that's best for your business and your customers. And I'm gladly help each of you work your way through that. All right, guys, I think that is, we are going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for uh, attending. Don't forget, next week we are meeting on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Central Time, same as these, uh, for the last session of this webinar. Uh, I hope today was insightful for you guys as it was for us. And, um, yeah, we will see you next week. We'll do a brief – don't forget to do that homework. We will do a brief overview of uh, our first two sessions. Uh, just to recap, to bring it back up to speed, and then we'll get going on the on day three. So I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your week and a good weekend. And again, reach out to Paul with any questions that you may have. He is more than willing to help you out. And uh, if I'm still live, there's my contact information, and uh, we'll see you all next week.